Hey, this is Gary Kay. We are at day negative one of Infocom because the show doesn't even open until tomorrow. And check out this giant wall that over here at the Christie booth. They're showing security monitoring command and control center, uh, showing how much image processing they can do. And I'm going to bother Paul over here. Paul, what are you guys using as an image processor? We're using our Phoenix Notes, our new Phoenix Well Processor. Yeah, so the Phoenix Well Processor. That is amazing. Uh, I don't know how many how many sources can that maximum, how many maximum sources? Node can do 12 um, sources, ten, 2 DVI in and 10 networked, and we have two outputs per display, or two display outputs per node. So, this is amazing. Uh, this is a great demo. I mean, one of the big growth areas in our market is is uh, government applications, obviously, recently, command and control centers, and of course, uh, Christie has some of the best lines of w uh, video walls on the market. And uh, which, which walls are we looking at here, by the way? These are our new front access 72-inch um, HD cubes with uh, motorized adjustment, so everything can be done from the front of the display now. This is all front access, so you don't have to get behind it, so if you got it mounted all the way against the back wall, all front access, motorized, which means that you can press, press a button here, go through the menu real quick, and uh, watch what will happen is the front screen will pop out so that you can actually do some, you can actually get behind it. And, uh, and work on it if you need to. Now, hopefully you never have to do that because they don't fail, but if you do have to change a projector out or, you or you know, tweak it or something, adjust it, then you can get behind it and you don't have to deal with uh, all the service issues. So look, this is one of the things that Christie's gonna be showing here at Infocom. One of the reasons why you need to come by the Christie booth in the North Hall, and one of the millions of reasons that you need to come to Infocom every year. But if you can't come, next best thing to being there is watching our coverage at ravepubs.com slash Infocom 2014.